Refine Edge tool. And the first thing you want to do is to open up refine.jpg. And it's going to be this image of the girl on a white background. Now, this is obviously a picture that was set up this way. Um, it's not always something that, that you could do to just have a white background. But if you could set it up like that, that'd be great. Or any other color that con contrasts the, the subject. So after opening up refine.jpg, I want you to go up to Window. Click on Workspace and Photography. And it's going to give you the same setup I have right here. All right, so first thing, you could cut this image out initially with any of the tools. I like to use a Quick Selection tool, but you could also use the Polygon Lasso tool or the Pen tool. But with the Quick Selection tool, which is the second one on the right column, I'm going to click on Select Subject. And it's thinking, and then it's going to give me the marching ants. Then I'm going to click down here, which I call the Japan flag, and it's going to give me a layer mask on layer zero right here. Now that mask is not perfect. You can see that there's other parts in there that, that still have to be clipped out. Now with the quick selection tool, you do want to have a background that shows you what is and is not clipped out. Because in reality, it's hard to see with the checkered board pattern in the background what parts are cut out and what parts are not. So I'm going to create a new layer down in the layers palette right here next to the trash can. I'm going to move it down below the image. I'm going to do command A and I'm going to pick a cra crazy color like green right here. Hit OK, edit fill. And there it is. Now you can see more of what needs to be clipped out better. There's also objects here that still have to be really j just removed. So what you want to do to activate the refine edge tool, you want to hold control and click on the layer mask for layer zero. And when you do that, you let go of control and this window pops up. You want to select and mask right here. All right. So these are the tools that, that it gives you. The refine edge tool is the second one right here. But you also have a few other ones on there. You have the quick selection tool again, which could refine your, your, your selection a little bit better. But the refine edge tool is really good for hair. Um, something that would be close to impossible with the pen tool, specifically with the pen tool. But the polygon and lasso tool is, would be pretty hard as well. And the quick selection tool doesn't do that good of a job with it. But uh, the refine edge tool does. So I click on this one, which is the refine edge tool. And I'm going to go over this section right here. Notice how it's cleaning it up and it's giving me exactly what I need. It doesn't always do that. Some parts you do have to go in. This right here, sections that have little gaps in between the hair would be, I would say, impossible with, with the polygon and lasso tool unless you had a, a ridiculous amount of time. But um, it does things that you couldn't do with other tools. There you go. I'm just going to brush over these sections. And here's the thing, if you look at your cursor right now, it is that circle with the plus inside. If you hold option, it's a negative. So if you wanted to, to take away some of what you just did or some of the stuff in here, you could actually just brush in there. I'm going to go back because I do want that right here, right here. And I'm going to work a little bit faster just to get this stuff refined. You don't want to click on areas that are that are white in there that you do want. That looks like a bobby pin, I guess. But it will take it out. Because the computer doesn't necessarily know what is hair and what is not, and what is background and what is not. It's really just looking for things that are contrasting, something that is different. So the difference between this dark hair and the white background, it sees that. And it selects that part. OK. Sections like this, if you look at it, it actually already look, looks good. Sometimes if you go over it, since this should be a hard edge, sometimes it makes it a little bit weird. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of did it right there. Let me see something. Yeah, so you could always do Command-Z to undo it. Um, Everything else looks fine. The quick selection tool did a pretty good job. This section right here, I don't want to do this with the refine edge tool because it will blur something. Actually, it didn't do that, that bad of a job. 
Um, sometimes what I like to do, I just did Command Z, but sometimes what I like to do, I like to go back in with something like the brush tool. And I zoom in a whole lot. And with the brush tool, you can make it bigger or smaller. Even with the Refine Edge tool, next to the letter P on your keyboard, those two brackets, you can make them smaller or bigger. So I'm gonna hold Option to remove. And this will give me a harder edge. And let me just finish going around this. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, there are other options here. One of the things that I, that I tend to take more attention to is the shift edge. I'll do like a negative two, depending on like the size of the image and what kind of image. But what that does, it brings the, the line in a little bit so that I don't get any of the white sections on the edge. Um, you could play around with this depending on your image. This might actually help a lot. Um, another thing that does get used a lot, just take a look at the hair while I do this. Um, right here, decontaminate colors. Right? Sometimes th this looks good depending on your background. If not, you could always go, go back, like back and forth. And actually when I do that, it makes me see that maybe there's sections in here. Yep, there's some hair right there. That I did not see. And actually, I forgot about this part. So the brush tool right here, make it bigger, hold Option, and I wanna take that part out. All right, for me, this looks good. And then I hit OK. And there it is, so you can see the, the old one is on the bottom and the new one.